pallets just plain scratched them both. So I gave it up. But uh, I think I have a little bit of a talent for comedy. So I first I want to say one thing about them. I've seen some near crashes out here today, and I like it when everybody calls heads up and then everybody's head goes down. <laughs> nope, nobody has their head up. Everybody's like this. I maybe you guys have heard this. It's, uh, it's an old folk song. It's called the Little Fly, the Little Fly song. But I've changed the words. So here we go. There was allegedly a silent electric flyer's plane, and it flew into a store. It crashed into the ceiling, and then it landed on the floor. Then it flew into the bacon, and it crashed into the ham. Then it crashed on the head of the little grocery man. Now that little grocery man got out his Gatling gun and said, I'll get that plane before the day is done. But before he could count from one to ten, the plane took off and crashed into the grocery man again. <laughs> now that little grocery man and his little grocery wife said they'd get that plane even it meant their very life. They bought themselves some hand grenades and, in, and hid inside the store. They blew themselves to blazes as the plane flew out the door. All the silent electric flyers claimed it was not their plane. They said they all flew legally and never that insane. <laughs> so the mystery continues to this very day. Who was the pilot that forgot to call? Mayday! <laughs> Thank you very much. I, I told you I wouldn't take I told you I wouldn't last three minutes. <laughs>